Okay guys, so we're back and it's the next day. First of all, I want to apologize for not vlogging the other day and for that reason, I did upload a full dip eating video for you guys. So if you do like that video, I'll have a link down below for it and guys, give me a thumbs up for that. As well as right now, I'm headed to get my first, second meal of the day, which is obviously, you know, I had the basic bro meals. It's chicken and rice, but I do also follow a flexible lifestyle already. So here and there, I will incorporate those kind of meals, kind of enjoying meals when I want to. I am on prep, so prep lifestyle kind of sucks, but the strict lifestyle is the way for me. I believe having everything on point during prep is way better, and the sanity is okay. So right now, I'm gonna have the chicken and rice meal, head to the gym, hit some back, and see you guys right after. Okay guys, so we just finished the gym right now. It was a really, really good back day. I love the workout. It's literally about 10 days left till I step on stage. And this is pretty much the last full week of working out. Next week is the start of peak week where I pretty much have to do my full body workout which I did last year in three days. And the remaining two days will be spent on cardio and rest. And that's what I'm gonna be doing the same plan last year. I'm gonna utilize it this year. Maybe some tweaking depending on how I look. Uh, last year's physique was a lot different than this year. So I don't know yet fully what I'm gonna do on peak week, but that's the baseline. That's the idea what I'm think I'm gonna do because that's what I did last year as well as I want to thank you guys for one thing right now so you know I'm sponsored by outlaw laboratories and today actually yesterday I got my first check from them because of you guys so some of you who use my code I want to give you guys a thank you for using my code I know it's not that much money I got from them but the little amount of money to me is something that means that some of you out there really believe in my work and I I just want to say thank you guys, just thank you. Also, if you're wondering, and you know I'm sponsored by Macro Bites as well, I haven't bought any meals from them at the moment because my prep is almost done. I want to finish off the prep with my mom because she loves cooking for me and that's what she really wanted this year at my prep. She wanted to cook my food for me, so that's what I'm trying to do is allow her to do that. But second, I do go to school in three weeks, then I'll start reusing my Macro Bite meals and purchasing from them and as always I'll have a link down below for Outlaw Laboratories and for Macrobytes. Both of them, their codes are down in the description guys. So if you want to save some money on any of their products for Outlaw Laboratory or Macrobytes, please use a link down below. So I'm going to get inside, get some errands done in the mall as well as some packaging, shipping and stuff like that. So I'm going to catch you guys when I'm at home for the post-workout meal. Just finished the last errand guys and right now I'm headed home to have a post-workout meal. Hopefully when I get home, Outlaw Laboratories shipment for my supplements will have arrived at my doorstep. If not, I'll have a nice basic chicken and rice meal. So let's stay tuned to when I get home to what I eat next. update guys so right now I finished pretty much majority of the errands for today as well as I finished mostly all the paperwork for college but I was really hungry and I still haven't had my post-workout meal because Outlaw still hasn't delivered my supplements so I opted with some two cups of Greek yogurt with some fruit about a hundred grams of blueberries blueberries Strawberries, raspberries, blackberries are my go-to fruit during prep because you can get a lot of them. Not as much blueberries, but you can get a lot of fruit for the lower calorie range in my personal opinion. Uh, but my go-to go-to ones are strawberries, blackberries, and raspberries when I can get a chance to get them. But blueberries are still good in my personal opinion. Other fruit out there that you could eat during prep pineapple, mangoes, bananas, but they're a little more higher in calories, higher in carbs. So it kind of kind of defeats the purpose because I feel like during prep, you want to eat throughout the day a little bit more. So 
going with lower calorie options it's easier i can stay fuller i can eat longer than during the day and i won't have to starve myself and be like oh shit i'm on prep like the goal for me whenever i'm on prep is to remind myself that i'm not on prep and that's always the goal so guys i've been sitting here the entire day literally my ass after doing all the college stuff and i'm finally finished and I got really hungry, so I thought to myself, where is my Outlaw Laboratory supplement? And my mom just said, it was sitting outside the past 30 minutes, where, where have you been? I'm like, I've been sitting on my phone, going back and forth, this is not working. So I'm gonna hand this camera to my brother, and we're gonna unbox right here, my sponsorship. So let's open it up, I'll show you guys what I got today from Outlaw Laboratory for supplement wise. So I picked up obviously my new favorite flavor, is their tri lean salted caramel. Whatever I always say, I always say sea salted because I always think of sea salt, but salted caramel, guys. Go check it out. Tastes like melted ice cream, bro. Like <laughs> melted ice cream. Then I picked up some, obviously, my favorite pre workout from them, the tri pump. I don't like taking uh, creatine, and I do drink coffee and a lot of the caffeine products, so I'm already pumped up with caffeine throughout the day. And I'm a person, I always wake up naturally at 6 30 every single morning, that's just how my body is. So a pump product is really what I always go for. And then I got their BCAs, I got the lemonade flavor, cause the lemonade flavor in their pre-workout that I have, I love it. And over here for the pump, I did get blue raspberry. So this is my stack right now. I did also order some multivitamin from them, so that's coming in a later time for you. But you guys already know what that is, so I don't gotta show it to you, but just really excited. So you know what that means right now, guys. You know what I gotta do? I gotta <laughs> take a scoop of some Outlaw Laboratories in three, two. <sighs> so good. Every time I drink it, it's like heaven, guys. So I'm gonna go out and do some more errands for prep, because you know, your boy always gotta eat, always gotta change the meals up. So, I'm gonna take you guys with me as always. So, let's get outside, and let's get the errand started. Your boy just left Kohl's. I picked up a blender for school, cause you know, I gotta get my morning smoothies in guys. Because at college, my diet is not gonna be off I'm going to be on point, get all my macronutrients in because even though I'm bulking, do a lean bulk, I'm still going to try to do the work and put in the effort. And I love smoothies and the best way to do it because when I was at Montclair, when I was at Middlesex, I couldn't get the smoothies in. Actually at Middlesex, yes, but Montclair, I couldn't really get them in. So I decided to personally to go out, go to Kohl's, pick up a smoothie maker, going to take it to college with me at Rowan University where I'm going to make my smoothies every single day at ease. So probably at night time, I'll go to the cafeteria, get a bunch of fruits for the morning itself, and weigh it out on my, on my food scale, and then have it at right before classes, or just here and there if I want a snack. It's gonna be the best thing ever. Just arrived at BJ's, guys. Right now, I'm getting the rest of my daily essentials for the prep. I pretty much just need to get chicken, and about the cookies, because I bought the cookies on Monday, and my brother literally devoured the whole entire thing. He's like, bro, this is mad good. I'm like, yeah but it's for me during prep and like that guy ate all of it. So I'm gonna go inside, get the chicken and my mom said to get protein powder for her cause she likes the to go proteins like the, on, the, on the bottle, she can shake it up and take it in. She loves the outlaw protein. She says, oh, she always recommends it to everyone. Get outlaw guys, link down below. But she wants the premier protein cause it's easy to go, shake it, boom, done and throw it out. Anyway, so I'm gonna get inside, get the stuff and I'm gonna show you guys everything I got at home. So we just arrived at home and it's a pretty basic thing I got from BJ. So I picked up some eggs because we did run out. Usually I do pick them up from Restaurant Depot because I do get it in a bulk. And we ran out and I don't want to make a whole trip just to Restaurant Depot for one little thing right now. So I said, you know what, it's okay. I'm going to go to BJ and pick up, pick up some eggs. As well as I got some two packets of chicken, both uh, about roughly $10 worth of chicken, so about $1.69 a pound. And I like having fresh chicken over the ones that are frozen, in my personal opinion. But obviously if you're going out on vacation, if you're going traveling, you have to accommodate, you have to find ways. So I'm gonna catch you guys in a little bit for the last meal of tonight. Tomorrow, Alphalete is coming to the city and me and Bob are gonna go head out and meet up with them.
Okay guys, it's the next day and we just arrived at the city after a long, long journey, bro. How stressful was that drive? That's pretty bad. And the worst part was that I had to pee the whole drive and I was sitting in that chair trying to sip and I think I had to go. Anyway, so we're heading to Washington Square Park to meet the Alpha Lee team and I'm also going to be collabing with a YouTuber in the city itself. Uh, I'll have a link down below for his channel. His name is Just Fitness. Um, I've been following him for a while in his journey and it'd be it's really exciting to meet him today as well as the Alpha Lee team. I have no words, just I don't know what to say to him, like all well, the whole group and stuff. I don't know what to say. I'm gonna have David right here, who's my other camera, to record kind of like a third third person view while I have my personal camera right here. We made here. it to the park guys. Long journey. Funny story that we actually walked the whole opposite direction, wasted like half a time, and ended up coming here kind of late but hopefully they're not here yet because i personally want to be early for this shit but i have no words right now yo really no words so let's get this when the silence sticks around we're not gonna settle down i never worry because i'm out of my mind with you What do, you, what do you say to you? I, I, you were like, talking about. I was talking, I was like, hey, what's up? How you been? Like, just like how I knew him forever. And then I told him, like, yo, I've been following you since like you were in college. And you inspired me to compete. You inspired me to uh, start my YouTube channel. And he was like, oh shit, when are you competing? And I'm like, my next show is next week. And then we're talking about macros and everything. Talking about online coaching. And then I was like, picture and I don't know, bro, like words. <laughs> Just left the house, now we're heading to Barbara's car to pretty much eat some meals because I'm hungry and I haven't eaten since I left my house at 4 o'clock and it's roughly about 10 o'clock right now so about 6 hours of not eating. I had my meal with me and I still never ate it because your boy forgot a spoon at home and that always happens during prep. I always forget my spoon guys. I definitely forgot my spoon at home too. Haha, -ha. wait what? I mean, you, you, said you, a you said you had a spoon in the car for me. I know, I just wanted to get my Damn bro. So now we're gonna head to Times Square and I'm probably gonna link up with Just Fitness and hang out with him, chill with them. Pretty cool dude. Love watching the videos, so see you guys when we're at Times Square. Okay guys, so we're back home and right now I, one thing I can say for sure is that this trip has been amazing. I've pretty much met the people who inspire me in the fitness industry, people who have inspired me to pretty much get on my feet and start my YouTube channel, not be afraid. They're one of the most amazing people. A few of them are really funny. I just I have no words like when I was talking to everyone and I saw a few of the clips already in New York City is that like I had no words for them and but when I got up to them I was trying to re before actually I was trying to rehearse something to say what I want to say to each of them but like when I got there I forgot everything I rehearsed and I like, boom like I was talking natural it's like I knew them forever in the city I met a few of the people who subscribed to me and some new friends I even made I even had a great, a great talk with Justin, but we never got to really to hang out as much. Just a few chit chats across, like there. But maybe soon, in the future, that's okay. As you can tell already, I'm really, really tired by the voice. 
just need some rest and you know got to wake up a little bit earlier to edit this entire video and yeah so let me give you a little physique update as well before I fall asleep this is really annoying so close the door that's my abs So you can tell already, I'm fully ready for this show guys, and I'm really excited. I had a great talk with everyone there, and you know what? Enough, I gotta get some sleep guys, so I'm gonna catch you guys in tomorrow's vlog.